Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to fix the product has inventory but shows as sold out on Shopify. Alright, let's begin. If you're managing a Shopify store and notice that a product appears sold out even though inventory exists, this can be frustrating. Let's go through the different methods you can use to fix this issue. First, log in to your Shopify admin dashboard. From the sidebar, click on Products. Here you'll see a list of all your products. Locate the specific product showing as sold out and click on it. Once you're inside the product details page, scroll down and check the inventory section. If you're shipping internationally, this might be part of the issue. Shopify allows you to sell in different markets and sometimes the stock is not synced properly across all markets. To check this, scroll to the publishing section, select manage markets. If your inventory is only available in your primary market, for example, your home country, but not in other markets like international or custom ones, deselect those markets. You only want to enable the markets where you have physical stock available. Let's say you only ship within the US. In that case, you should disable international markets to prevent confusion or unavailability warnings. Now let's move on to a common cause, variant level inventory issues. If your product has multiple variants, like different sizes, colors, or styles, each variant has its own inventory count. Click on Variants in the Product page. Select all the variants by ticking the checkbox next to them. Next, click the three dots located next to the Bulk Edit options and click Edit Quantities. Now you'll see an inventory editing screen. Here's where things often go wrong. If you see a message saying inventory can't be edited at this location because no variants have quantity tracking turned on, that's your clue. Shopify cannot manage inventory unless you enable tracking for each variant. To resolve this, click into each individual variant. Inside each variant settings, check the box that says Track Quantity. This tells Shopify to monitor and control how much of that variant is available. You can also check the option for continue selling when out of stock if you want to allow back orders. Now, in the available quantity field, manually enter the number of items you have for that variant. For example, if you have two units in stock for a variant, type in two. Repeat this process for each of your product variants. Be sure to click save after making each change. Saving is critical to ensure your adjustments go live on your store. If you want to manage all variants together more quickly, return to the bulk edit screen. Select all variants again and choose edit quantities. From here, you can update quantities across all variants in one go, saving time if you're working with several items. The next step involves checking your locations. Shopify lets you manage multiple fulfillment locations, like different warehouses or third-party logistics services. To access this, go to your settings and click on Locations. If you only have one physical location, Shopify assumes all products are stocked there. But if you've recently added another fulfillment service or storage location, that can confuse inventory tracking. Click Add Location to set up any new places where your products are physically available. Enter the name, address, and zip code for each location. Then, make sure to check the box labeled Fulfill Online Orders from this location. After creating your new location, go back to the product's inventory page. Select the variant and assign available stock to that new location. For example, if you added a warehouse in California and you have five units stored there, update the quantity for that location accordingly. You can also use the View Inventory button inside each location to see current stock levels and make quick adjustments. This lets you monitor how many units are stocked at each location and which ones are linked to the products you're selling. One more helpful tip. Make sure each variant is connected to a valid fulfillment location. If a product variant doesn't have any location linked to it, Shopify will automatically mark it as sold out, even if you've manually entered stock numbers. If you've followed all these steps and the product still shows as sold out, Double check whether the product or any of its variants are set to draft or unpublished. Only active products will appear live on your storefront. So that's basically how you can fix the product has inventory but shows as sold out on Shopify. And that's it for this video. If you find this helpful, 
consider subscribing and giving this a big thumbs up. Thanks.